Welcome to Excel 2010 statistics video number 41. If you want to download this workbook, Business 210 Chapter 4.xlsm, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet Raw Data. In this video, we want to see how to create a joint probability table from scratch. Here's our raw data. Now, in our last video, we saw an already cross tabulated table. We had loyalty as one variable for the row headers and length of service for the column headers. And we saw how to go to from our count. This is a cross tabulated frequency table where we got our, our count to a joint probability table. And then from these, how to do all sorts of calculations. All right, so here it is. We have some data here, class ratings and tenure. The question is, how do you rate your instructor? Let's find out how the ratings change depending on how long they've been tenured. Now, two categories here. We'll simply uh, create our a pivot table in this video, and then count in the intersecting table. That'll be our cross-tabulated table. And then we'll copy the pivot table a couple times and create our joint probability tables and our conditional probability tables. Pivot tables, you have to have field names in the first row, records in rows below blanks all the way around. Whoa! Luckily, I can click Cancel. Click in one cell. Go up to Insert, Pivot Table, Pivot Table, or the keyboard shortcut Alt-NVT. Because we have our data set up correctly, it guessed right. I'm going to click OK or Enter. So Alt-NVT, Enter for creating a quick pivot table. Now we're going to drag Class Ratings down to the row label. Tenured over to the column labels. And then you can drag either one of these down to the values. Now, this first table will just be our cross tabulated count of the frequencies. Now, one problem with pivot tables is it's sorting this alphabetically. So, one blank, one zero. I don't want that. I want five to ten right here. So, watch this. One way to do this is if you point to the, the um, column header here and click, see that? downward pointing arrow, downward pointing arrow, you click and it highlights it. Now you can point to the edge, and that's the move cursor, a black way, four way arrow with a white diagonal arrow on top. When you see that, click and drag. Now you see this gray bar, wherever you let go of your mouse, don't let go until the gray bar is in the right place. I want it right there. Now I have five exactly in the right order. Now let's change that. Tabular. We've been doing this maybe the 20th time so far. I'm going to go up and change the formatting. Minimalist. How about light? All right, so I have my cross tabulated table. I want to copy. Oh, we actually can calculate our probabilities from this. Let's say I wanted to calculate the probability. Let's do a conditional probability. So, X, uh, how about excellent? If only I could type. And then our bar, that's a bright shift above the Enter key. So excellent, given that we have 5 up to 10 years. So what's that probability? Well, if we click in H7 and type equals, and we we're going to isolate to this column right here. So the sample total sample space is 45, but we're going to limit it now to 15, right? So we say, excellent. Oh, look at that get pivot, get pivot data function. OK in some such situations, but all I want is C5 here. Now, we can do a formula like this equals C5 divided by, and then I want this total here, C8. Now, that's kind of a hassle to type them if you're doing a lot of them. So let me show you how to turn off that feature. Files, Options, Formulas, and there it is. We can turn off Get Pivot Data function. Click OK. And now when we type equals 5 divided by 15, we get our cell references. All right, now the this is our 
cross tabulated table. We can calculate all our probabilities from this, but sometimes you want all of the joint probabilities, which are, would be all of these numbers divided by the total. And for that matter, the marginal probabilities, which are these totals divided by that. So I'm going to copy this and just change the calculation. So I'm going to copy, click right there and control V. And I'm going to click right there and control V. This one will be our joint. This one will be our condition for the category tenured. And this will be our conditional probability for the category class ratings. Now I'm going to come here. All of the numbers divided by that, right click. In 2010, I love it, this drop down, show values as. We got a percent of grand total. And instantly we have our and or intersection or joint or concurrent probabilities. All these numbers here are being divided by the total right there. And these are our marginal probabilities, right? This kind of looks, this one looks like our frequency distribution, our relative frequency distribution or percent frequency distribution last chapter. Here's a category, right? Here's that right there. But here in this chapter, we're calling these marginal probabilities. The probability of pulling someone randomly and getting an excellent category is 35. The probability of pulling someone randomly and having two criteria, excellent and one up to five years, is 17.8. Now, marginal joint. Let's do conditional probability. So we're isolating, like we said earlier, isolating on this column. So I want this, this, and this divided by the column total. So I right click. Let me show you a different way. Up here under Options, uh, Summarize Values By, that gives us our functions. Summarize Values As, that gives us our list there too. I kind of like this because it's easier to see in the video. It's right next to there. So percent of column total. So there we have it. We have our conditional probabilities. The ones inside of here are our conditions. Uh, these ones are just like our frequency table up here because each one of these is divided by this column total, which is 45. So for the category tenured, right, we have this category. And within this category, a count of 20, right, we can say uh, excellent, good, or OK, and calculate our probability. So you'd say excellent, given that the person was 1 to 5 years. All right, now let's do this one, category class rating. Excellent, good, OK. So this is a row. So right click, show values as, percent of row total. And there they are. You can see the 100% there. And again, these are uh, just as they were up in the table here, our marginal probabilities. But it's calculating. This calculation technically is going that total there divided by this row total. All right, but here's our conditional probability. So for example here, what's the probability that you get 10 up to 20 years given that it was an excellent, right? So it's isolated to this row. All right, that is taking some raw data and calculating uh, your cross tabulated, your joint and marginal, your conditional probabilities for the columns or the tenured category, conditional probabilities for the class rating or the row totals. Let's change this. <laughs> I have, uh, should be PT answer there. And there is the, uh, we'll just, I'll just double click this and call this um, PT.